Okay, you're gonna see how this turns out. We gotta, we gotta open the drain valve. That's mm, I think that's dry. Let me check these. We don't want any cold areas. And I don't feel any cold. pretty good so far. Okay, those three are done. Now we'll check. Oh yeah, these are done. And the garlic is done. Okay. Okay, I keep the bucket down there. You have to when you defrost it. So, I pressed to defrost. We're going to close it up and hit continue. And now it'll defrost. So, with this, let me get you down so you can really see what I'm doing. And you can see how nice these turn out. Now, all I do with these is I just dump them right in the bucket. And I use the bucket kind of like my pour spout. And see that? It's all dry. I'm going to bring it up here and give you a good close-up. See? It's like pieces of styrofoam. It's beautiful. Okay, so... This is how I package it. I'm going to put shredded cheese. This is going to go into my root cellar. And today is 3 of 23. I think this is Colby Jack. Okay. Somebody made a comment, <clears throat> let me get down here a little bit, that um, they wouldn't let them do a layaway plan on the freeze dryer. So I sent them the number. If you go down on the very bottom of the, the link that I, I give you, click on the link in my description box, and then it'll bring you to the Harvest Right website. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And I mean all the way to the bottom where it has the contact and all that. And click on Layaway. And it'll bring up a number that you need to call and they will set you up. This is Colby Jack. Okay. I'm just going to start with these two. Now with this, I don't want to forget my oxygen absorbers. And I'm going to put one in each bag right away. I also, these are from the Harvest Right Company, these bags, but I also get them, they look, you know, the Mylar bags. I also get them from my foodvacbags.com, um, and that, the link to that is also in my, under my description box, or in my description box. All right, so this is all I do with this. I just pour it in here. Okay. 
I might not have to put any more in there, but I'm going to leave it sitting there just in case. This should be able to fit right in there. Okay, so these, all I do is use my my vacuum sealer on these. It doesn't vacuum seal them, but it seals them. So those are going to go right up there for that. Now this. I need one of these little bags. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add these to what I've already got here. Okay. So I'm just going to pull these down away from that. Get them all in there. Because I use these a lot. I could get one of those food funnels, but they're a little too pricey for me, you know. Okay, that one's all set. Filled back up again. Now, this is going to go in my jar. See that? Put this in here. I don't want the cheese powder in there. I'm going to put this in here because I am going to grind this up with my little coffee grinder. And I'm going to show this to you. And then you'll see how it turns into a real nice powder. See that? You can grind it right up. Nice. See how it grinds? See the powder? Beautiful. But I'm going to use my coffee grinder on it. That's nice. So that, friends, is how easy it is to freeze dry. You'll love this machine. If you get one, you're going to love it. And you're never going to regret buying one. All right. I'm going to get these packaged up. And I wanted to show you something, too. Those are all the beautiful eggs I collected in two days. And look at this. See how little that is compared to a regular egg? That little egg there is from a, a new chicken starting to lay. I love it. But aren't those pretty? I've got four and a half dozen there. Beautiful. I'm going to make my coffee. And then... I'm going to show you how I grind that up for my garlic. And I might just go ahead and freeze dry the rest of it. But, you know, it would probably fit on, oh, it would probably fit on two trays. So I would have to find something else to freeze dry. Look at my, I'm a hot mess. Ha! That's all right. This is real life. We were downstairs all day today cleaning our basement up. <laughs> Mr. Wayne has said to me, you know, I think I'm going to get up in the morning and go organize my basement. I've only been telling him for the last two years. We need to get your side of the basement cleaned up. Mine's all good. Mine's perfect. And uh, he'd always tell me, if it was summertime, he'd say, well, that's a winter job because we're busy in the summertime. And come winter, he'd say, well, it's too cold down there. That's a summertime job. Well, we got it done today. <laughs> oh, 
Well, there you are. I told on you. <laughs> you can break this up pretty good in here. And men, we know that story very well. <laughs> Nag, nag, nag. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's a hoot. All right, this is going to get a little loud, so. Oh, maybe not. This will make a beautiful powder. I got this coffee grinder, and that's all I use it for is, is um, spices. Let that chill out a minute. Ooh, yeah, it's got to chill out for a little bit more than that. Wow, that's strong. That went right up my nose. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Nice, hey? Eh? All right, we'll put some more in here. Fill it right up. We got about three of these. Oh, <coughs> that's stronger than pepper. But that'll be nice for cooking. All right. Perfect. Last one. You know, you can get... Let's set that aside. Oh my goodness. You can get garlic from, I think, Sam's and Costco. Already peeled and, you know, ready to use. You can freeze dry that and grind it right up. <coughs> Excuse me. That's up my nose and down my throat and everything. All right, that's it. So you know what? That entire container I bought will definitely fill that jar. So, I'm gonna get the lid on that, it's killing me. Oh, it smells wonderful, but it sure is strong. So I'm gonna set that up there until it is cleaned. Okay, so there we go. Let me wipe up this mess, get my cup of coffee out of here, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do today. Or tomorrow, actually. Got to have my little shot of hazelnut. And I love this coffee. Look at that. A big old bowl of coffee. And I always spill a little okay so got your coffee you seen how that turned out we might just go ahead and freeze dry the rest of it but I got to see if there's anything else that's not frozen that I can freeze dry um, I do got some whole milk in my root cellar and I also got um, sour cream freeze-dried in my root cellar. Now, I don't know if I did a video on that. So, that is another thing that we are going to do. Also, um, I wanted to show you I got chicken in the oven. My Remember the fried chicken that I did? It was been in the freezer for a ready-made meal. Well, I got some in the oven. And I'll show you how beautiful that turns out. I have to make, um, 
Actually, I got to heat him up, his mashed potatoes, and I'm just going to put them in the oven. So let me grab them. I'm going to have a nice salad with mine. So I'm probably not going to do any more vegetables, but I did these the other day. And these are still very good. So we're going to just heat them up. I'm just going to heat them all up. You never know who's going to stop by. My neighbor might need a plate of dinner. All right. We're going to put those in the oven, but I'm also going to put a little bit of butter in there. This is just a reheat. This is what you call a plan over. Not a leftover. A plan over. <laughs> a plan over with your leftovers. Um, a little bit of pepper in here. Just a little bit. Okay. This is going in the oven. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna go up to my Amish store and uh, I'm gonna get rye flour because I'm gonna show you how to make an easy rye bread. And I'm gonna do mine with caraway seeds. Now you don't have to use the caraway seeds. If you don't like them, you can omit them. But I like the seeded rye. And it's a very easy, almost like a beginner level bread. So we'll do that. I'll probably do a video and do a few basic bread recipes for the my beginner friends out there. And then I'm going to do probably a couple quick breads, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I do know you all have been asking me for apple fritters, and I've got two beautiful, I call them gala. I guess it's like tomato and tomato. It's wherever you're standing. It depends on where you're standing. Some people call them gala. Some people call them gala. But I have those apples, and those are beautiful for fritters. So we might make those. Not, not in this video, though, but coming up. Um, I think this video, tomorrow, we're going to do the breads. Because they're very easy to make. I have to load my own um, container, my egg container for my fridge. So I'm going to fill this up. Look at the size of these eggs. They're gorgeous. I'll bring you up here. I got like four and a half dozen here. So I'm gonna put a bunch in here. Actually, I think I filled two dozen as well. Because I like to keep the smaller ones. And uh, put the bigger ones in here. There's one dozen. Beautiful, hey? Nice dozen eggs. I gave away four dozen the other day to my friends and my neighbor. And no, they never buy eggs when my chickens are laid. Because they always take them goodies and scraps. And you know, yeah, my lights are on. And you know, when they do that, that's helping me feed them, so I'll give them the eggs. Okay, let's see how many, what, this little bitty egg tears me up. We're going to put him in there. He's either, either that little bitty egg. Look at the difference here. <laughs> I'll show you once again. Can you see that? Right against my, my chest, maybe. That little bitty egg and a great big one. This is either all yolk or all white. But that's a new baby that's laying. 
probably one of my ones one of my babies from last summer I've had a couple of them start a couple of them started just after I changed my feed I got a few little small eggs and I used all my eggs today because I made Mr. Wayna some um, yeah nice and full again I made Mr. Wayna some uh, egg salad it makes a good lunch okay I'll put these out in my outside fridge and I will show you the chicken when it's all done you're gonna love this if you haven't tried it yet oh my gosh watch that video I'll link it up here somehow you that fried chicken is good and you know what it's still you know it's still not summertime to cook outside yet obviously but uh come summertime when I make my homemade fried chicken for the freezer I cook it outside in a big old five gallon cauldron I love that thing so I'll I'll cook sometimes I'll cook 50 pounds of it if chicken goes on sale I buy a ton of it and fry it up and get it in the freezer because it lasts for it, it'll last for quite a while and though it doesn't here because my uh, daughter and her family loves it so I always give them quite a bit of it but it's still good in there it's just gotta go a little bit more I told you I made extra potatoes because you didn't know who was gonna show up I always show up at the right time <laughs> she gets to have some fried chicken I'm gonna show this fried chicken to you after I get it served up here let's see Give you a, let me mix that up a little bit. There's pepper right on the top. How much do you want? No, oh, that's way too much. That's way too much? There you go. Yep. Okay. Oh, let me see here. I have got, you know what? I'll just use a fork. I'll use your fork. Ah, okay. You want one or two pieces? This one. Look at that beautiful chicken, friends. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's it's crispy. Nice and crispy. There you go, honey. Uh, you want more butter? Yep. Oh, you can't have it. My camera's on it. Oh, <laughs> get it out of the fridge. Okay, we're going to serve up John's. I'm too, I gave you too many potatoes because that's how many John eats. Oh. And then I'll have the last couple, last school potatoes. Come here, Mr. Wayna. You want two pieces of chicken, Dolly, or one? Two, please. Look at the under part of that. It's not, oh, it looks burnt, but it's not burnt. It's nice and crispy and golden brown. Well, hello, friends. Good to see you again. No, them are kind of fat. Well, you want one in here. Uh, just and then use it. They're all fat. They're all thighs. I meant big. Oh, they're all big. There's one little one there. You want That's that one instead? Right. All right. Guys. And there's mine. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to whip up a salad with my gorgeous chicken. You've got to try that recipe. It's delightful. Okay, friends. I'm going to make um, meatballs. Meatballs with, um, well, actually, it's roasted meatballs and potatoes with a little sauce on it. Mr. Wayne has said, I'm hungry for just meat and potatoes. Well, that's what I'm going to give them. So we got to turn this on because I've got onions, but the, whoops, wrong one. Ah, I'm still learning this, but they're froze, so I'm going to saute them a little bit for my meatballs. Put a little bit extra oil in there. And now, uh, 
we'll saute these up to put in our meat uh, meatballs. And I'm making them, it's a lot like just making meatloaf. I'm not using my stuffing like I normally do. And that's all right. But this is a dish. I'm going to put it all in my beautiful cast iron pan here. And then we're going to bake it in the oven. And it's going to be a lovely dinner. I'm also going to make all these meatballs up. I got like, oh gosh, two and a half pounds of fresh burger here. This is from my local butcher. Yeah, it's just over two and a half pounds. So we're going to, I'm going to make them all up into meatballs, but I'm not going to cook the excess. I'm just going to freeze those, flash freeze them, and then package them. And that's good. I'm not going to do too many onions. But this is going to be wonderful. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt in these onions. I'm not going to caramelize them. I just want them to thaw out and cook them until they're a little translucent. And then I can mix them in with our meat. Okay? You guys got to try this. This really is good. My husband, he likes meatballs, but he don't like spaghetti in meatballs. So, but just plain meatballs, those are good. All right, I got my bowl here too. We're going to get this all going. And it won't take long for those. Those will be ready by the time I get this all mixed up. Okay? Beautiful. Right off the bat, we're going to dump almost, almost two cups of breadcrumbs in here. And we're going to do two eggs. And I'm doing that much because I've got almost three pounds of burger. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in here. Not a whole lot because it's granulated garlic and it gets real stout. Alright. We can turn that off because that's all those needed was just a little bit. Mmm, that's a little warm. We're going to dump those right in there. Scrape out your dish. Don't waste any. So now, I put a uh, little bit of garlic in there. All The only other thing I'm going to put in here, because my breadcrumbs are seasoned too. So I'm just going to do a little bit of Italian seasoning. I know these aren't Italian style. That's just the seasoning. i got to cool these onions off before I stick my hands in there. And they'll cool off in there. Break the eggs up. You don't have to use your hands to mix this. I'm going to. I just don't want it to be hot onions when I put them in there. Okay, so right here. This is going to go in the oven. So I want just a little bit of oil in there, not a whole lot. I got to set our oven to 400 to pre bake. I'm also going to set that up there. Side this right up because I'm going to make these. Um, Meatballs first. All right, now I can get in there. Those onions aren't screaming hot. Get this all mixed up. I'm 
These will make some lovely meatballs. Now you could cook your meatballs before you freeze them for a, a you know a freezer meal or whatever, but I'm gonna keep mine uncooked. I'm just gonna freeze them raw because that way I'm not obligated to any dish with them. And if I had to, I could thaw them out and break them up. So that's why I'm gonna do mine that way. I guess you could still do that way with cooked, but when I'm doing the potatoes and the meatballs like this, because the potatoes have to cook, it's, uh, it makes it nice if they're not cooked. All right. That is mixed together pretty good. Okay. I'm going to use an ice cream scoop so that these meatballs are all the same size. Okay. There we go. I'm going to get these all done. Then we'll get our potatoes put together. And it'll be good. This makes a delicious meal. I don't make this all the time. I don't think I've ever done a video on this either. The meatballs. But I, I don't make it a whole lot. Because my husband would prefer a big old cheeseburger instead of meatballs. And even when I make my spaghetti, he don't, he don't care for meatballs in the spaghetti, but he'll eat them with the potatoes. And I like using the ice cream scoop because it gives you a nice size meatball and then they're all the same size. I'm going to use the same bowl for our potatoes. Okay. And I just cut these up like so. Put them right in your bowl. I'd already peeled the potatoes ahead of time. of these because they'll be enough for like two meals for each of us so we'll probably have these tomorrow for either lunch or dinner and again you never know who's going to show up for dinner so if Tracy comes she'll have a nice meal and and when she does come to visit she always, she knows when dinner is so she's a sweetheart that's good enough for our potatoes. Now I'm going to put a little bit of oil on them and I'm going to use a teaspoon because my hands are all itchy. So we're going to use some salt on these. A little bit of pepper, just season them to taste. And I'm also going to use, because I love this stuff, I'm going to use a little cumin on my potatoes. It just, oh, I love that. I love that smell. So I'll put a little bit of cumin on these. And it'll pair well with the Italian seasoning and the meatball, or meatballs. 
they'll be wonderful with them. Okay, just get in there, give them a good mix. That's all we're putting on them. Okay, we're going to set this aside. We're going to bring this over here. I'm going to put these aside a minute. Dump your potatoes right in your pan there. And then we're just going to move these meatballs around. Okay. So we got two, four, six. We have to have two, four, six, eight. And we'll have one extra. Oh, my. One extra for a taste test. All right. So we got it just like that. This is going to be delicious. All right, so now I've got a little tomato sauce. I'm not going to use a whole lot on there. In fact, I could just pour it a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe about a cup's worth. And that's all I'm doing. I'm going to bake this in the oven uncovered. It's going to be wonderful. So when this is done, friends, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how wonderful it turns out. And in the meantime, we'll get these ready for the freezer. All right, so that's in there. Now these, I'm just gonna spread around here a little bit. I don't want them sticking together. And these are gonna be, gonna go, I'm gonna flash freeze them just the way they are. So in about a couple hours, and none of them are touching, I'm going to go run these out to the freezer. In about a couple hours, they'll be ready to um, package. And you guys remember the peppers from the other, they're froze solid in here. So I'm going to package these up. I need to label my bags. I'm going to package them single because they're just mine, and one is more than enough for a meal for me. So, these are stuffed peppers. And then I'll vacuum seal these. And you know when you vacuum seal them, you'll get a lot more time and life in your freezer with them. So, they'll last longer vacuum seal. They won't get freezer burn. Aren't those something? Okay, and they slip right out of there. So we're going to slide this right in here. Perfect, just like so. One at a time, and then I'll get these packaged up and put in the freezer, and these will be wonderful. Okay, friends, these are all sealed up. Look at how nice. Vacuum sealed beautifully. And you know, I I calculated it for my meal because I got these peppers on sale. I got the turkey burger was on sale. I got everything for these for these on sale. And um, well, actually, the stuffing wasn't on sale, but it is an everyday low price, so. I had $11 into all of this and some change. So by the time it was all said and done, each of these meals will cost about $1.80, 
three cents a meal. So that's pretty good. Six meals I got in there. So that'll last me quite a while. And I don't have to worry about getting these all used up in a month or two because they are vacuum sealed and they'll last a very long time in there. So I'm going to go get these in the freezer, friends. Before I do that, and before I forget, I want to tell you, when I cook these, because I know you're going to ask me, when I cook these, I'll just take them out of the freezer the night before, and you could leave it just thaw out in your fridge in the package, but you know, they do get a little soggy after they're froze, so I always take them out of the package, excuse me, frozen, and I put them in a little container that I'm going to bake them in. I've got these little little um, stainless containers and I'll just cover them up and leave them in the fridge to thaw overnight so that when I bake it I can put a little tomato sauce in there with them and they'll bake for about oh, about 40 45 minutes but about the last 10 minutes I will take and put a little bit of cheese on the top and finish baking until the cheese is, cheese is nice and golden brown and it turns out beautiful and I do bake them at 375 degrees. So, that's how easy that is. Okay, friends, this turned out wonderful. And we're having this, I know I we have salad a lot, and I, I always, I never make salad on the camera, but we're having a nice spinach salad with this tonight. I'm gonna give my husband four of these beautiful, me, uh, there we go. Four of them beautiful meatballs. And take a look, friends. That's beautiful. So there you go. I'm going to serve mine up. We had a ball in the kitchen. I should. There, that's better. We had a ball in the kitchen. And I showed you a few things. The eggs I collected. The freeze drying I did. I just want two of them. And an extra potato. Oh, they're crispy on the bottom. They're just, they're delicious. See that? Beautiful. My husband doesn't eat peppers, but I always put a few peppers on my salad. Anyway, we had a ball. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen. Um, I did want to make bread in this video. I wanted to make some seeded rye bread, which I am going to hopefully make in our next video. But my Amish gal that has the store, she's out of rye bread for a few days. So that will be pretty soon. We're going to do another nice bread, bread video, and I'll show you how to make a few basic breads. So there you have it. Thanks for hanging out with me. You all have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.